everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms on PC here in 2021. Well, I had played this game a little bit on the PlayStation a couple years ago, maybe, uh, just to see what it's about, because I do love Dungeons and Dragons. I actually like the Forgotten Realms uh, area, region, lore, and when I got into the game, it appeared to be very much, uh, yes, an idle game, but it had more to it than that, more like, um, you know, capitalism, the, the game, uh, something to that effect, um, and it just stuck out as hitting a lot of notes that were correct with like um, fun D and D theme, cool uh, camp art style, and actually satisfying gameplay with skills to unlock. But it's been a while, and I have no idea what has changed in the game. What is different? And then they decided, well, let's just give the game away for free on Epic. It's already free, but they're giving you a bunch of paid content, which is this Epic Champions of Renown pack. And it says, thanks for logging in through Epic Games, which I have done. Your account has been created with five extra champions. Spurt, Crawl, Black Viper, Hugh Mon, <laughs> that's a hilarious name, Nova Vigur, and 16 gold chests for each of them. They've also unlocked two familiar, Iris the Beholder and Baby Spurt, to help you out on your adventures. We recognize that you might have no idea what any of that means at this point, which is true. I mean, I, new champion sounds good. You say the chest is gold, that sounds great, but I don't understand the value relative to other things in the game. But we hope you'll appreciate these goodies as you explore the game and have fun. Well then, perfect. Neat. Thanks. Now, I realize that you know, in games of this ilk. They're giving it to you free, so I buy DLC, but that's okay. Knowles are attacking me. Don't worry, I'll take him out. Oh boy, there he goes. So he's gone up there to fight. And he does four damage right now. You can help me out by clicking enemies. You don't do much damage, but every little bit helps. Oh, that's right. So I click and do damage. Now, at the beginning of the game, it actually is a reasonable amount of damage. Oh, and you want to click these crows, too. You get stuff from everything. So it's, hey, why don't you spend that gold and level me up? All right, dude. Ah, my damage has increased. It did a double. Thank you, my friend. Well, that's amazing. All right, so you want to just, like, be clicking birds, gnolls, whatever it is. I think the gold automatically picks up, but I could be totally wrong about that. Oh, you just have to roll the mouse over it to pick it up. Fantastic. It's actually a lot better to play on the PC than the PlayStation, just because, you know, using the D-pad for the analog stick as a mouse is never that great. Finally, this area's quest is complete. Click the area to move on to the next area. I will, I will. Just let me pick up all this money. All right. Uh, let's do that. Okay. So, don't forget you can level me up to increase my damage. Right. So, what you're doing here is you're, like, leveling them up, increasing their damage. Ah, I've leveled up enough to earn an upgrade. Click to apply it. All right. And praise Moradin. I feel much more powerful. My damage is greatly increased. Um, so, it's we've increased his damage by 100% for each adjacent champion. So... You know, he's coming in doing 42 damage, where he was doing just 4 damage before. And you can see, basically, that you're leveling up his attack, his damage goes up, and then he's on a timer. And every once, once this blue bar fills up, he's going to jump over there and do his attack. In the meantime, I can idly click. Now, it's pretty relaxed right now, because I only have one champion. But when you start getting all of the people... Um, there's things flying around all over the screen. Now, you get to make fun decisions about what equipment you give, what configuration you put your party in, um, who you level up and when, things like that. 
when you use your skills once you get those unlocked. And so it's much more involved than other idle games out there, I feel. Don't forget to click the area the arrow to move me to the next area. That's right. And you can see up here it says a brief tour of the realms. Um, and once you complete this objective, you can just zap on to the next area. It does automatically pick up your gold, apparently, which is great. Um, I'm going to close this little screen that says starter packs. You've traced the gnolls back to their camp near some crumbling stone ruins. Okay, gnolls. Um, I have enough money to level all this up. And sometimes, you know, I want to save to, like, unlock this hero, and I think I'm going to do that. Oh, I've got enough. You've got enough to recruit another champion. Click here to recruit Celeste, and she'll join me in the fight against the gnolls. All right, let's get ourselves a healer. Well met, Brunor. Saloon shall guide us to victory. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that deity's name correctly, but I'm giving it an honest go. Now, other heroes are much more expensive to level up. You can see she's going to take 50 to level up. Right now, though, she's doing 158 damage, so she's, like, three times as damaging um, as Brunor. Oh, and we can complete this. Now, I'm going to... Um, I can do this and level up my click. And so now my click does more damage. I like... I'm going to move to the next area. There's so much stuff to do. Um, Brunor, these ruins could be an excellent source of rare or magical equipment for an adventuring party like ours. Huh. You could keep lookout for anything that looks valuable. All right. The ruins seem to be in the style of shield dwarves, perhaps a small farmstead. Whoa. Okay, so the game is, like, automatically moving. Um, no, I don't want that. Uh, the text is automatically moving, and it goes a little faster than I can read it. But I suppose you don't necessarily play a game like this for the lore, although that's kind of a cheap cop-out. I'm going to get my click damage up. I like being able to do a lot of damage with my click. Alright, let's see. She has 100 energy. What does this mean? Your bud is based on the D DPS of the highest hit. Um, wait, i got to read that again. Here, I need to level him up significantly. I got an upgrade for him. The last upgrade I got gave me a formation ability. If you move me closer to Celeste, it'll increase my damage. Okay, so I'm going to move him uh, over here. There we go. I love fighting beside my companion. Celeste has me uh, fired up to smash heads, and my damage has gone up. So you can see where he was doing like a third of the damage she was. I leveled him up, and I got him a new ability, and then by changing the formation, now he's doing 300 damage and is comparable to her damage output. It's also very cheap to level up his damage. So... In... You know... Okay, I can give him a new ability, which gives him Bash. That last upgrade unlocked my ultimate attack. You can choose when you use it by clicking this button on the bar. Ultimates have a short cooldown between uses, are uh, but very powerful. Okay, great. So... It's an interesting decision you get to make, you know, an, an algorithm that you want to run where you say, all right, when do I want to start leveling up Celeste or when do I keep leveling up Bruno or what's the best investment for my money? Look out, the monsters ahead are especially strong and they're led by a terrible boss monster. Okay, uh, I'm going to level up my click damage and I'm going to level her up and try to get so I can get her ability. But she's so expensive that it's not easy to do that. I did his ultimate attack, and it has a one-minute cooldown. Okay, almost got her there. I'm just clicking this guy as much as I can. Oh, we got him. Oh, never mind. He's got, like, more than one health bar. Sweet Moses. Oh, no, he's powering up to double. Uh-oh, he's hitting us. He's actually doing a lot of damage. I need to level up Brunor somewhat. Celeste, can you heal? It would be helpful. We got him. Ooh, that was close. And we got a bag with a little chest in it. Aha, that boss dropped a chest. 
gear contains potions and contracts. I'll explain these all later. For now, click up here to view your chest stash. Okay. Um, I clicked there. And, ah, look at that shiny treasure chest. Go ahead and open it by clicking on it. All right. I can do that. Uh, which one? This one? Oh, wait. I think he means... I don't know what he's talking about. Um, I don't know what chest he... he oh, this one. The, the bad one. Okay, so we got a new weapon. Increase the damage of all champions by 65%. Wow, that's really good. All right, so we're going to take all that. Now, we also ended up getting um, some other stuff, right? So we got, like, free gold packs. And I don't know what these do, but, you know, we're getting contracts and items for other people to equip. Now, because this is an idle game, in the background, my people are fighting. You got some duplicate gear. Duplicate gear makes the item you already have in that slot more powerful. Okay, nice. Uh-huh. There we go. So all of the stuff we're getting is for the, the newer heroes, I believe. Ooh, wow. A level 9 stingy. Nice. Epic. Equipped. Increases... Oh, I, I, it's like an achievement. Increases the damage of everybody by 1%. Nice. I don't really know what these are, by the way, but... Um, it's fun. Ooh. You lucky dog, you're making an old dwarf very jealous. Um, you got a shiny piece of gear. Shiny gear is super rare. It is shiny, I see that. Oh, but then when I moused over it, I lost it. Oh, I see, its effect is increased by 0.8%. Okay, good. Well, we want those shiny gears. Duplicates. Oh, there's another shiny. And so we upgrade it again. Wow. All of these achievements, I guess, I'm completing. Wow. I've been getting really, really lucky. And now, normally, I guess, this wouldn't be something you could do. But because of the Epic Games... package, you just get so much stuff right here. Okay. Basket of centipedes. Interesting. Uh-huh. Getting lots of epics. We're leveling up everything this guy has. Um, okay, let's see. Now, sometimes it's hard for me to tell um, what I have and what I don't. Open all of them. Yeah, just do it all at once. Oh, my. I see, because I got 16 gold chests for each of the new heroes. Look at this. Yeah, cool. All right, so then I guess I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to say, we're going to speed it up and just open it all at once. Oh, I got shinies, too. Well equipped, we got that. Notorious accoutrements. Uh-huh. Purple fever. Man, we're getting all of these little achievements that increase our damage by 1%. It's so good. Fantastic. Um, all right. So I'm just opening all this stuff and just being like, cool, I'll take it. Open 50 chests. Gear. Fully equipped four champions. Fantastic. We're just going to open everything we've got. Nice. Uh-huh. Find 60 pieces of gear. All right. So even more achievements are happening. And then we're out of chests. So we can close this screen. That chest has some gear for him. Click on my portrait to view my sheet. Okay. Gear is automatically equipped when you get it. All right, good. Okay. Um, now, I could go to the next screen, but I could also 
um, you know, unlock a new hero. But what if I want to... What do my familiars even do? Like, what does this guy... Recruit three champions. Okay. Oh, I already have these on here. Okay. Okay. Um, that's fine. I don't want to see this screen anymore. And then... Oh, wait. It says drag out a familiar. Okay. Oh, I can put it, like, over here. Cool. And it's fighting or something. Oh, boy. It's wrecking stuff. That's right. They, like, automatically attack anything that's close to them. How fun is that? Okay, great. Um, go kill stuff. Good. And then... Uh, how do I change, like, who's in my party? Level up shortcuts. I see. Oh, I can save the formation. Um, inventory, jukebox. Alright. I don't even really know necessarily what to do. Maybe I have to play through this tutorial before I even get anywhere. Upon returning to the Traveler's Camp, you find them under attack. Alright. So I have a bunch of money. So I can, like, level people up. I can level up her, and now she's doing 16,000 damage, which is pretty good, it seems to me. I'm just going to level up my click so I can just shred people. It's funny. Yeah. Get him. Alright, let's try to get her to her ability. Oh, wow. She increases the damage by 100%. So she just doubled everybody's damage. How's that? Let's see how much he... He doesn't cost that much to level up, so... Alright, let's do that. Let's pick up all this money. And let's go. Help, they've taken my family, says Manfred. Don't worry, dude. We're here. The bandits appear to be trying to kidnap some of the traveler folk. Rescue the villagers. Okay, Oh my god. His head popped out, and that's how I rescue him. That, um, it doesn't quite make sense, but I'm glad he's okay. Oh, my latest upgrade is another formation ability. Increases the damage of everyone in the same column as me. Can you arrange our formation to take advantage of that? Yeah, I think I have. I mean, her damage went up because of that, so I think we're good in that respect. Yeah, now we're doing like 143 damage a click. So nice. Uh-huh. Area complete. Let's see what it's going to take. They took some of the innocent traveler folk into the woods. Chase them down. All right. I'll chase them down with my mouse. They have no idea what's going to hit them. Alright, let's just boost up her damage, because, you know, she needs to be doing more damage for no reason. And let's see. There we go. Now she's over 100,000 damage. This is another thing I love about this game, is just how high the damage numbers go. You're, like, doing millions of damage at some point. But then you kind of, like, in the, um, I can't remember the name offhand, um... There's a capitalism version, um, and then there's a communism version, like where you are playing this idle game and you're buying lemonade stands and making money. And in, in a similar way, it reminds me of that, where you have to level everyone up, but then you reset them back to zero, you know, and you start all over again. But you get some incremental uh, progress. You have ways of expediting that. It's fun. All right. Okay, let's see what else we can do. We're about to fight a boss. Find the industrious leader of this band and take him out. We will. We're going to talk to him. We're going to be like, dude, we're here for you. All right, let's see if we can level her up a bit. Now, another thing is... Um, you can see the party's DPS up here, which is like the base DPS of all of us. Um, I'm going to do the ultimate attack. Oh, God, we killed him. So meta. 
increases our damage by 1%. And this is how you kind of incrementally get through it. Even though you start back at level 1, with all these achievements, your base damage is just raising and raising and raising. So it becomes easier. Bandit scum, let's get back to the road before it gets too dark to see anything. You've taken out the bandits, but seem to have gotten turned around, and it's starting to get dark. It is getting dark. Oh, got even more stuff. Okay, um, I'm going to increase my click damage because I can't get enough of it. And I'll boost her up. You can see, now this base DPS does not reflect my click, by the way. And I don't know if it reflects the familiars either. But um, you can see that, like, I'm at 48.4 thousand. But if I push one level into her, it goes up significantly. So, like, you can see the value of leveling her up, at least based on that metric of your base DPS. And some of the considerations are when you get closer to a skill, it's very, very good to get skills with people. Like her skill, by the way, just makes all champions do double damage. So you're going to double your base DPS once you get her skill. The Neverwinter Wood is not a good place to have gotten lost. Creatures attack your camp at night. Defend yourself. I am. Oh, I got clicking expert. We're getting more and more money. And... We can do this, and then look, our DPS is 76. We just get that ability, and we double it flat out. So now we're just crushing things. Now, it's very cheap to level up my man, but you can also just, you know, um, get 10 levels. Like, if I hold shift, um, I can get 10 levels, you know, and just really level up Brunor so that I can get closer to his skill. But now you can see it costs more to level up Brunor than Celeste, because his his level is so high. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do this to get his skill, increase his damage by 200%, which is a good boost. So now we can just leave him alone for a while. He's doing great. I got to get better at clicking on the next area. I just get... There's so much stuff happening. It, you know, it says idle, but this game is actually pretty frenetic in my opinion. After a fitful night, it's bear's time. All right, so let's level her up. Um, and yeah, she's getting to her skill really quickly, and I can increase her damage by 400%, which is a big boost. Let's get all this stuff. And then... I can buy 10 levels with her and double our damage. So the you kind of want to spread the wealth around, or at least I do, with the different heroes looking for those skills that increase the all the party's damage because those seem to give like the most bang for your buck oh yeah all right let's see um all right, i'm gonna just keep going with celeste Heals champions in the column in front of her for every six seconds. So now she's healing the two people in front of her. So our formation is actually really, really solid. All right, we'll go to the next screen. Yeah, you can see why. At least I can see why. Maybe not you, but for me, this game is so addicting. It's it's just a lot of fun. It's very pleasant. Something's not right. Did you know you can turn on, on auto progress and we'll hurry to the next area as soon as we're done? Just click this button here to toggle it, and you can step back and let us do our thing. Oh, perfect. So now I don't have to miss the arrow. Auto progress will turn off if we're defeated, so check back often to level us up and get us moving forward again. Right. So, you know, if... If I'm afraid of getting defeated, nah, it doesn't matter. If I get defeated, they'll come back. So um, I can unlock this guy. And here he is. Jarlaxle, the male drow rogue. Ah, uh, the drow. One of the iconic races in Forgotten Realms. And our damage has gone up significantly. Let me see. Um... One, two, three, four. Level her up. I want to see if, what her next ability is. Bum, bum. Interlopers, you and your people destroy our homes with your incessant adventuring. We do love to adventure. You've stumbled into a dryad's grove, and she doesn't seem too happy that you've been slaughtering the forest folk. Well, you know. 
It's just agree to disagree because they're really tough. All right, I'm going to stun her. And I'm going to try to get her next skill. We're very, very close to it. Let's just keep clicking on her. Uh-oh, here she comes. She's getting close to us. Got her. Bam. Perfect. And we get this dude here. Uh, and her skill says increase the damage of champions in the column behind her by 100%. So, unfortunately, that does make Celeste do a lot more damage, but not her. Oh, and actually, I need to move um, this guy. I need to change my formation. The rain isn't making things any more pleasant, Brunor. Suck it up, elf. Oh, boy. We're out of the woods. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually move this guy here and move her like this. Um, and now we went up to 1.23 million DPS because of the formation bonuses, right? So that's a, a nice increase. All right, we got a lot of money. Um, how much for 10 levels? I can put eight into Celeste and then now she, can have, she has an ultimate attack that we can do, a flame strike, which is really good. So we'll be happy about that. We can now start getting back into Brunor and increase his damage by 100%. And that actually increases our overall damage pretty significantly, so that's great. Um, I think I got a chest, did I not? Yeah, I got a gold chest, actually. Open it. Flip them. Cool. We got a purple velvet cloak for... Oh, look at this. It's the... Minsk or whatever from uh, Baldur's Gate. Sweet. And we got some items for people we can't use, but that's okay. Close it up. All right, here we go. We got frogs everywhere. Ooh, we're getting a lot of money per kill now. That's great. Um, how much to level you up? Ten. Yeah, I'm going to do that and just get Brunor up one more level before I sh switch off of him. He's still very, very affordable to level up. And we get increasing his damage by 300%, see? So now our d damage went up from 1 point something million to 4.3 million because Brunor is just wrecking everything. Terrific. It seems a little quiet, and these cows seem a little frothy. Uh-oh. Frothy cows. Let's get their milk buckets. I've never wanted milk more than this. All right, so I need to actually let them come back before I click on them so that um, the familiars do their thing. Uh, let's see. Who do I want to level up? Celeste, probably, right? It'll cost 100 to put her in 10, but then... Oh, wow, I increased her damage by 400%, and that's actually not that great. So, Celeste can probably stay there. Now, maybe if she gets some gear or something, but boosting her damage hasn't seemed very good. All right, let's give this guy some levels. Yeah, this increases our damage a lot, leveling up this dude. Yeah, so he's our next project. We really want to try to get him to his first skill, which is doubling his damage. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Perhaps the farmer is in a nearby village for the day. I don't know. Maybe. It's a good suspicion that you've got there. All right, we're going to double our click damage, and we're going to boost his damage. Boost it again. Boost it again. And double his damage, and now we're up to 18.2 million party damage. I think that's reasonable. All right. And let's see. Let's go ahead and level up here. And it doesn't help us out much, but um, I can double her damage if I get her to the next level. So let's just try and do that as fast as possible. All right, 50,000. Uh-oh, the Cursed Farmer. All right, see, we're at 8.3 million. You'll have to excuse me. I don't speak crazy. 
Aw, that's not nice. And now we go up to 8.7 million. So actually doubling her damage at this point isn't the be-all, end-all. It's not even anything. So we're just going to be leveling up this guy because his damage actually seems to do something. We're going to give um, all of our like timed abilities in here. And then let's see. Yeah, leveling up Jaraxxel or whatever his name is is a worthwhile investment. Yeah, he just comes in and slaughters things. We got him. So you see, the boss seems to power up over time. And so the faster you kill it, the better. And here we go. Praise Morden. I recognize this roadway. This be the Tribor Trail. The Tribor Trail connects the inland village of Tribor to the high road on the coast. All right, great. It means we'll see at least three boars today, right? Okay. Um, and still boosting up this dude raises our DPS breakdown. And you can see, like, who's doing the most damage. Um, actually, Celeste and uh, this lady, uh, Nylai, doesn't do that much damage. But you can click Show Upcoming, and you can see um, what skills are coming up so you can make better decisions about, like, where you want to go, you know? Yeah, but this guy is doing like 80% of our damage, so leveling him up still seems wise. What's your next skill? Increase gold find by 25% for each Drow or Rogue Champion in the formation. That's actually really good. 25% more money is so fantastic. Yeah, get this guy his money. Let's get some more cash. That means just we can level up everybody faster. Perfect. Get it to us. All right, great. Okay, now I'm going to start leveling up my click again. Just so I can contribute... What's your next thing? Shield Master. Mm. I can increase her damage. I can double his damage. That seems pretty good, but it's hard to get there. There's a strange artifact. Better smash it to be safe. Yep, yep, yep. Smash it. Oh, wow. These guys are actually... This stuff is hard. I don't know if I'm strong enough for this, to be honest. Uh-oh. We're getting kind of torn up here. Yeah, the problem with this is uh, that she can't be healed where she is. Oh, man. And that took our damage down so much when she passed away. Yeah, this is getting to be a little bit too strong for us. So we're going to have to go back and, like, you know, level up. It's okay. It happens. Oops. We're so hurt. Oh, no. We're being overrun. A tough battle, but we'll regroup one area back and try again when we've leveled up, son. Just click the next area to push forward again. More than willing, we won't fail again. So... Yeah, we need to just level up again. And we can think about, like, our formation, you know. Um, see, I could move her forward. I could put her here. Right? And then say, you go here, you go here, 
and you can go here, but we still don't do as much damage in this configuration. So our previous formation was the best for damage. All right, anyway, we're gonna unlock this hero who is a bard, Calliope. And she probably doesn't want to be out there on the front. So now we need to move the formation around. So now we could say like, you can be here and you can be up here and you can be here. And then like this. There we go. Now we're up to like 57.5 million. Seems pretty good. And we're going to level up a little bit and see what do we want to get next. All right, this is doubling our damage, but it costs a lot to get us there. This is doubling his damage. Okay. So we can try this. And see, yeah, this just made our damage go to 230 million because of the enrage stack that she has on her. Which is crazy. So that's pretty good. Now I bet we can take out the boss. I mean, maybe. Uh, let's see. I can put 10 in here and get specialization. I could go... You could choose which specialization you like this champion to have. Different specializations unlock different upgrades in the future. Don't worry if you don't know what to choose. You can change your champion specialization every time you do a new adventure. Cool. Um, I like Battlemaster a lot. So now we've just, like, absolutely pumped up our damage. And we have a bunch of money. Um, does boosting her... Oh, yeah, boosting her... Uh, look at the breakdown of our DPS. She still does a good amount. So I'm going to keep pushing that button on her. All right, now we have, like, 800,000. And with that much money... Um, we can just easily level her up. And then when we get to level 90 with her, we can uh, double our damage. So that's quite strong. So let's just do that really fast. That's easy peasy to get that much money. And there, and now we're going to be at um, almost a billion damage. So, that seems strong. Mm -hmm. And from here, we need to look at what's next for our damage situation. When does this unlock at level 50? That's pretty far away, unfortunately. Yeah, this gets us over a billion just to level her up again. All right, let's try the next area. Let's see how we're doing. See if we're strong enough to take this out. It would be nice, wouldn't it? All right, let's try it again. Remember us, Strange Orb? I'm going to, by the way, just level up my click damage a ton. Oh, yeah, we're actually making really, really good progress here. I'm going to do all of our specials, rain down as much as we can. Oh, yeah. That made it much easier. We're going to go back to auto progress. Brunor, look out the window. There's smoke to the west. Uh-oh. I don't know what that means. Something's burning. All right, we're going to level her up. As you hurry down the trail, the smell of smoke becomes more apparent and the air becomes hazy. I think that's what it said. All right. Almost there. We're going to get to the bottom of this. That's a lot of money. And we'll level her up again. I really want to get to this where she's going to double our damage. It's a very, very strong play. I love that she hits things with her musical notes. And I love how much damage they do. It's a lot. What's your next thing? Increase his damage by 300%. He actually does a good amount of damage. So how much would it cost? Yeah, do this. What level we have to get? 180? Okay, easy. Do that. I'm going to get him to 180 to get that skill. It's not actually that expensive. 
the inn, it's on fire, but not through any natural means. If you catch my drift, I do catch your drift. Yeah, so d that actually helped us out damage-wise. And then we just pumped this in here. Defeat the elementals so the fire can be quenched. Okay. Well, we can defeat him. We're really strong. Oh, we're getting there. Look out, that enemy's got a bow. Ranged enemies can attack from afar, but if you click them to interrupt their attacks, if you're quick about it. Oh, okay, cool. Let's do it. Let's be quick about it. And we just need a little bit more money to get her next skill, but we don't quite have that yet. Oh, so close. If another bird swoops in, we can get this going. Oh, we did it. Yes. We got some gems. Terrific. We've journeyed hard and completed the objective for this adventure. Now it's time to complete it and reset. For resetting, we'll earn the favor of Torm and earn more gold on our future adventures. Click here to do that. All right, complete. And we reset it, I guess. Tell everyone the tales. A brief tour of the realms complete. So we get 100 gems, some Torm's favor, and 26.6 million gold. Continue. The Sword Coast. Home. There's plenty to do, but first we have some unfinished business in that last adventure. Click here. All right. And we will click here, but we will click here in the next episode. Everyone, I think this is a good taste of what this game is about. We've completed the first area. Um, and... Now we're getting ready to start this next quest, and it's a twist on the base adventure that adds some extra challenge, so we can do that uh, next and see how that goes, what the twist is all about. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this game, what you think about it. Um, I like it. I think it's fun. I just like D&D, &D and I, I like uh, making the decisions to level up and, you know, on and on. But if you've played this game significantly and have any feedback on whether or not it's worth investing time into, please, I would love to read about that in the comments below. And if you've never seen it before, what do you guys think of it? Let me know there, too. All right, everyone. Thanks again so much for watching. Have an excellent evening or day. I'll check you next time. Take care.